Here are five steps to make sure your shoes fit. You spend too much of your hard-earned money to buy shoes and boots that don't fit. No two brands or even models are the same. A 10 in Blundstones, Nikes, and Doc Martens are not the same because there's no standard when it comes to shoe sizing. Set aside your ego and buy shoes that fit. Measure your feet. No one has a Braddock device at home, but almost everybody has a ruler. If you measure your foot in centimeters, look at the Japanese sizing. Where a US size 10 is different from a UK size 10 is different from an EU 43 or 44. The Japanese sizing is in centimeters. And unlike boot sizes, a centimeter is actually a standard unit of measure. I wear a size 28 centimeter in Japanese sizing. That's my 27 and a half centimeter foot plus a half centimeter for space. Easy. A Doc Martin US size 10 fits 28.8 centimeters. A Blundstone US men's 10 fits 26.9 centimeters. That's about a three quarters of an inch difference. Pretty big. Stand with your heel against the wall on a line of tile or a line on a piece of paper and put your ruler beside it. Stand with your weight on the foot. That's it. Now remember, one foot is bigger than the other. Measure them both and buy shoes that fit the bigger foot. Don't get talked into buying boots or shoes that are too small thinking that they're gonna stretch out. Leather boots and shoes will break in and mold to your feet, but they're never gonna get any longer. And stretching is more to conform to your foot than getting bigger. Buy the right size from the start. Take the foot pad or insole out of your shoe and stand on it. Make sure the widest part of your foot is inside the edge of the widest part of the insole. And make sure your toes fit inside the footbed. If they don't, your feet are going to cramp up, they're going to be too smushed together, and that's uncomfortable. And you could be asking for a bunion. You spent all that time picking out the style, the color, the ordering, the waiting, the delivery. Now take a few minutes and find out if they actually fit. Don't rush. Try them on and walk around the house. Walk on carpet in case you need to return them. Try your shoes on in the morning and at night. Your feet aren't going to get any longer at night, but they may get a bit wider. A day of sitting, a day of standing can make your feet swell by the end of the day. If you can do it, do a chore or something to take your mind off of your new shoes. That way you'll know they actually fit because you forgot about them for a minute. Socks matter. Wear the socks you'll wear with the boots. Hiking boots, hiking socks. Business boots, business socks. A bit of slippage is okay, but too much is too big. You should be able to move your toes and have enough room in the heel, walk up and down stairs. It's a great way to know if they fit. And remember, the perfect fit is snug, but not too tight. Width is just as, if not more important as length. Make sure your shoes are wide enough that your tootsies have some room to wiggle. And remember to like and subscribe.